Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. We've got the other half of the £2.50 and p coin hunt that I did last week. So if you haven't seen that, do go back and see last Sunday's episode. The £2 were definitely worth having a look at. The 50p's maybe is not so much. So I'm really hoping that uh, our luck changes in the second half of this bag. And there's obviously there's slightly more. There's, there's 15 bags in this. We've got... Uh, £150 worth of 50p to go through. So hopefully we'll do a little bit better than last week's part of this bag. But if we get anywhere near the look that we get in the £2, because the £2 will come up straight after the 50p's, there'll be £300 worth of £2 to go through. Then we are laughing because we found an absolute plum and a half. So maybe maybe all the luck is in the two pound hunt at the uh, at the minute at the minute but let's see i'm going to say keep the faith although these first two bags have done absolutely nothing in terms of keeping the faith <laughs> or I've, I've given me any faith whatsoever that this isn't some of these throwbacks so uh, these are from the post office they were double bagged they're in two post office bags and the one inside was from Spennymore, and I suspect that someone thrown them back. Oh, what a run of Britannia's that was. Left in, heck, that was one heck of a run of Britannia's. Of course, if they are somebody's throwbacks, there's always a chance that they don't look for the, the key date, the, the rare date, the ones that were not intended for circulation. So I always feel you've got a chance there. But let's see. Commemorative. Don't be the people act. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Everything's everything's indicating that the throwbacks. When you find the commemoratives, you find if they're all the high minted ones. Oh no. Oh well, maybe he's not totally. He's just totally not give up hope. Mm, we'll see because there's quite a lot of commemoratives in this bag. So so far. Um, the bit you missed was a, a Brexit, uh, a really grubby Team GB, uh, a Paddington at the Cathedral, uh, a Roger of the Bannister, and this bag here, so this has got a, a Tiggy Winkle in, I do like Mrs Tiggy Winkle, albeit she's high mintage, it's got a Battle of Hastings, it's in quite nice condition that. Um, what else have we got, a Christopher Ryan inside. Another Brexit, another uh, People Act, a Peter Rabbit. So we have another thing, we have another Peter Rabbit. Sherlock Holmes, we haven't had one of them. A Scouts. Very much feels like a cash in, but of course it's cash in of really low minted, of uh, high minted coins. Quite a nice uh, Britannia as well, that. Shiny Britannia. Any more for any more? Yes, I can see another. Oh, there's two more commemoratives in here. There's another Paddington at the Cathedral. And a 2016. So probably going to be another Tiki Winkle or something high mintage, but you just never know. <gasps> it's a Tiki Winkle. Just, yeah. Hmm. It does still point to the a throwback situation, throwing everything back that's not worth anything more than the 50p. But, interesting, let's press on, let's press on. Two pounds still to come. Right, well there we are at the end of the 50 pences. We got another Brexit, another Taylor Peter Rabbit, another representation of the people act, another Team GB albeit in better condition, and we got uh, dictionaries which we hadn't had. So a lot of variety again, but unfortunately, not really the variety we were looking for. Oh, haven't had one of them. Must have been in there. In the last hunt, I got one of them. Oh, well, it was something different. So 14 different ones. At least it's something, yeah. Right, let's crack on with the uh, two pounds. And let's hope it's better than the 50p's. 
we're hoping for to get the same look that we got uh, that we got last week that's for sure so we'll be doing the usual rotating anything that looks uh, shiny rotating all oops there's a Shakespeare do that all commemoratives and taking a particular look at the edge inscriptions of any commemoratives and the 2010s for any double hubbing, any double, looks like double stamping of letters. Let's see how we go. So we've done all right there. Three commemoratives in that first bag. Two tragedies. One Charles Dickens. I always occasionally do the 2014s as well, because I've definitely seen them with a the rotation. Oh, your beauty. Talking of rotations, there we go. We've got another one. Found one a couple of weeks ago. 2015, spin it round, the queen is upside down. Or you could do it, go that way and say that the design's upside down. So it's ever so slightly past 180. So let's have a little spin there. Yeah, that little dot here would be the 180 mark. So it's a little bit past it. Excelente, excelente, por favor, senorita, plum fine, nice one. Great, the uh, the look has turned, ladies and gentlemen, hims, hers, theys, thems, the look has turned. Oof, that's a, that's a rough looking one, and it's fake, that's why. So yeah, another 2015 that's rotated, but this is rotated because it's not a real coin. You can tell by the kind of look, you can tell by the feel, the... Uh, yeah, the hologram in the middle isn't a hologram, it's just a design. Uh, yeah, edge inscriptions on, albeit not great. And uh, yeah, the portrait's not bad either, but definitely, unfortunately, unequivocal, blah, 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 be fake. There's another one, another fake. Ah, something a little bit different there. Rugby World Cup, 1999. And while you've been away, uh, our other ones have found Shakespeare's histories, First World War, uh, another one of the St. Paul's, and another one of the Charles Dickens. So nothing too exciting. But different. Okay, that concludes the two pound bits and pieces. And three fakes. That's rough that, isn't it? Three fakes in 300 quid. I suppose it originally was 600 or even so. That is rough. And I'm going to say, so why don't I say this? So I've got that one in the middle. I could use that as the thumbnail, maybe. And say it. There's something wrong with all with these three coins. That might make quite a good thumbnail, actually. And the one's rotated. Lovely. Super. Right, that is me done. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little mix and match of 50p's and £2 coins. And uh, thanks very much for watching. And we'll see you in the next episode.